G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're reviewing the M4A1 V8. So I guess let's get right into it. So since this has a V8 gearbox, this does have select fire but can only do full auto, full auto and safety. So I haven't got a battery in this one but safety obviously works. So semi-auto does not do anything. Um, it also comes with an adjustable stock, so to adjust that you just hold this tab down and then God, I really can't do this shit with one hand and then you just Put it forward put it back and then you, It also comes with a sight, but I'm not gonna be using this today because it's a pretty bad sight You just put some batteries in there and the That lights up a little bit It's pretty shit um, but yeah, mine broke so I won't be using that in this review, so you can just put that aside. Um, some good news about it though, is it does take SCAR V2 magazines and normal gel mags and these. Since it, this is like the most common gel blaster, these magazines are really, really common. So I've got four of them, one from my SCAR, one from an ACR, one of them came with it and I bought an extra one. Um, it comes with a one sling mount on the front and it does have a charging handle that pulls the dust cover back but that doesn't sh serve any functional purpose other than just looking cool just also has a mag release here i believe yeah so it's only on the right side like any normal m4 and so something i forgot to mention before is that the outside the blaster feels plastically kind of nylon the stock is definitely plastic but I'm pretty sure a bit of the bar, well I'm pretty sure it's fully plastic but it does have full nylon internals um, and the gears as well so this blaster can actually take an 11 volt battery straight out the box and to put the battery in you just want to pull this hard to do one handed again just pull that out and then slide the battery in there there Sorry, I can't really focus, but you saw that I've, the battery's sort of hit in there, so it works. It's just an 11 volt battery in there, so it's pretty small, about that big. And you just connect it up and then just chuck it in. Then you hide, put this over it, which you can't do it with one hand. But yeah, and then that's how you hide the battery. Um, so yeah, let's go see how it fires now. So for the firing test, it shot about 30 to 35 meters. And the magazine for it seems as if it can hold about 250 gels, but obviously since mine has an 11 volt battery in it, it goes very, very quickly. And I've already shot about half the mag just seeing how it goes because I hadn't shot it in a while. I've been using the V9 a bit. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next review in a couple days and make sure to subscribe because we're trying to get to 300 by middle next year so thank you guys for watching see you guys then